New at five, we're talking non-stop phone harassment. An elderly couple from Illinois and their daughter turned to News 6 to solve the mystery behind calls and texts that have lasted for more than two years. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld is teaming up with robocall experts to find out who is behind it. It could start as early as 6 in the morning. It could go as late as 10, 11 at night. Vicky Gama is trying to stop a two-year non-stop cell phone and text assault. They'll just text it over and over and over. The targets? Her parents. The callers? Her parents. And it looks like my mother's calling my father and my father's calling my mother. It's a new twist on so-called spouse spoofing. A technique News 6 first investigated in 2019. The spoofing is easily achieved by various apps used legitimately by doctors and other professionals. Are they trying to steal identities, money, extortion, blackmail, what is it? That's the same question we've asked ourselves. We don't understand what is it that they're intending to gain from this. The messages are peppered with intimidation and vulgarity. Siento impotencia, pues más que nada eso, y temor. Aldamira Garcia tells News 6 they would receive as many as 70 calls a day. Every day for the last two years. They say only a handful of people have their cell phone numbers, yet someone or some group continues to harass them. Until my parents just stopped answering all calls that were unrecognized numbers. But the mystery callers were relentless, texting, I won't stop until you answer my call, over and over again. It's really harassing. News 6 presented the Garcia's cell phone dilemma to UMail CEO Alex Kalichi. More than 10 million people use the free system to block robocalls and spoof numbers. The key thing here is enforcement. So there's technology providers and carriers that are supporting these calls. They're the ones that need to have pressure on them to not allow these apps. Kalichi tells News 6 he enlisted experts with U.S. Telecom Traceback Group, ITG, to track down the calls. I'm sure it's the same app because we traced back five or six calls and they all went the same exact path. Because the Garcias are considering legal action right now, we can't make the name of the app public. Kalichi tells me roughly 40% of all of those robocalls are usually spoofed. Chances are it's happening to you. For more information, go to clickorlando.com. Mike Hofeld, Getting Results, News 6.